Hey everybody and welcome to Coding Challenge number 5 at the CC Pipeline Innovation and Curiosity Center. I'm Michaela, and today we'll be working with Python to code a drawing using the turtle module. So without any further ado, here's Coding Challenge number 5. Alright, so Coding Challenge number 5 is asking us to use the turtle module to create a smiley face. The smiley code should create a turtle object and utilize a single for loop to draw eyes. So that being said, the first thing we have to do is find an online compiler. So when you get to your um, compiler here, they already have a file already set up for you. It's called main.py. Remember, we're writing in Python, so that's a good sign. The next thing that you have to do is to, to tell the whoever's reading the code a little bit about the code, who wrote it, all that kind of stuff. So now that your header is complete, we can go ahead and we can actually start to code. So you should be online six or seven, and you can import the turtle class. Now the turtle class is going to be what's going to allow us to draw on the screen. So kind of like a pen on a piece of paper. So that turtle is going to act like that. Now the turtle is actually like the thing that draws. So we have to first import the class in order to get all the functions that come along with it. So the next thing that we have to do is declare a turtle object. So I'm going to call it smiley because we're creating a smiley face. Now this name right here can be anything you want it to be. So if you want it just to be like an S or a T or whatever you want it to be, it can be that as well. So we're going to say this smiley variable is equal to turtle. So an object of the turtle class and we're going to call the full class. Now keep in mind, make sure the second T is uppercase uppercase and so what that's going to do is it's going to light up purple when and if it does that then you know that um it's typed in correctly so now that that's done we have to pick up that pen and move it to where we want the circle to be drawn so we're going to use the function up so we're going to use smiley and then we're going to call this function on it and because that picks up the pen now we need to tell it where to go so we're going to use this smiley dot go to function and then we have to put the coordinates and the x and the y coordinate in there the first one being x and the second one being y now you can play around with these values play around with these values and when you play around with the values you'll see it shifts where the pen is or where the turtle's at so now that that's taken care of we can actually start to code the smiley face so we need to first use the begin fill. So we're going to use smiley.begin fill. And so what that's going to do is we're going to start the initialization for the head. So now that we have that done, we can we have to tell the compiler what color we want to fill it in. So we're going to use the fill color function. Now remember all these functions that we're using are a part of the turtle class. So we don't have to actually define any functions. So the parameter for the fill color function is a color that you choose. I'm going to choose yellow just because I want mine to look kind of like an emoji. Um, there's a ton of different colors as you can see on your screen right now um, that you can choose to put into these parameters. So now we have to tell the compiler what kind of shape it's going to draw like what kind of where is the turtle going to draw so a smiley face is usually a circle so we have that circle and then we're going to tell it how big to draw the circle now you can play with this number too play with this number and you can see the differentiation in all the different sizes that you can make it and that kind of stuff now we have to tell the turtle to stop filling so we can just do end fill and then it's followed by parentheses. So now we can stop and run the code and remember stopping and running the code is really good for your program because it tells you if you have any errors or that kind of stuff in the program itself um, before you get to the end. So you can see that when we run the code it starts here, it moves that original turtle, it gets back to the start point and then it fills the circle all in yellow. So even if I change this color to black it should change the whole thing to black. So if you had a different color and it looks a little bit different, that's okay. If you have a different size, that's okay too. So I'm going to just change it back to yellow so we can go ahead and move on. So now the next thing we have to work on is the smile, right? So just to keep track, I'm going to say smile and then I'm going to say, let's say face up here. Just so we can keep track of what code's doing what. So we have to pick up that pen, right? Because we don't want the smiley to be down here. 
So we are going to use the same thing, the smiley up, and then we have to move it. So we're going to do smiley that go to, and we have to type in the variables. Remember that X and the Y coordinate, and you can play with these. I played with them a lot to get it to just the right spot where I thought the smile should go. So you can go ahead and play with these values and move it around. So now that we have our um, turtle set to where we want it, so it'll be about right here, we need to make sure that the direction is right. So we're going to use this um, function called set heading. Now the set the heading function takes an angle as the parameter. So your um, east is going to be zero and then north is 90, west is 180 and south is 270. So keep that in mind and that's going to spin the turtle around so he's going in the right direction. So now that we have that, we need to set the heading and we need to figure out the angle. Now it took me a minute to figure out what angle I want and this was just by pure trial and error. So feel free to play around with it just so that you understand how the set heading function is working. So now we need to figure out how thick we want the mouth. So we need smiley, smiley dot width. And in the width function, it takes the parameter of how many pixels wide you want it to be and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to choose 10 for mine. Now you can go up to 40 or 50. Again, you can play with these numbers. Any of the parameters, feel free to play with because the more you play with it, the more you'll understand how the functions are working. So now that we have that done, we need to put down the pen. So let's go smiley and then down. So that's going to put down the pen to right. And then we're going to tell it to smiley.circle because it's kind of in that shape. Here we go. And then we're going to play with 80 and 120. So now that we got that taken care of, we of course now just need to set the color. And of course you can change it to any color, but sticking with the traditional smiley face, I'm going to type in black. black. So now... We're going to stop and run it. So watch carefully over here as the turtle spins around. So there's our set heading function and it draws completely. So now we got the smile taken care of. And you can almost see as it gets here, it picks it up, takes it over here, spins it around, and then comes back over here, which is exactly what we're telling it to do in this block of code. So now that we got that taken care of, we need to look at the eyes. So in our challenge, it says to use a for loop, and we can use a for loop here because we have two of the exact same eyes, unless you want two different size eyes, then you'd have to do two separate sets of code, but here we have two of the same things that we're drawing over and over again, right? So we can use a for loop actually to condense the amount of code that we're going to have to go through, and actually um, condense our running time for anybody that's interested in that, which is something that's kind of a big problem in code, which is, um, figuring out how to get the slow, uh, fastest amount of running time with the maximum amount of information. So if you're going into coding, that's definitely something to be considered about. So we have our keyword for, and that's followed by a variable, our indexing variable, and we're gonna put the in. So as long as that indexing variable is inside the range, that should be another keyword that lights up. And it should be negative 35. And of course, um, feel free to like play with this, but it's based off of all the other um, sizes that I chose. So 105 and 70, 70, there we go. And now, of course, part of the syntax is it for it to be followed by a colon. Now it should indent here, and if you remember correctly from before, um, C++ uses parenthes or parenthes, sorry, curly braces to enclose a for loop. In Python, there's actually no curly braces that are used for looping. It's the indentation of the code. So you can see that there's an indent here and it automatically did that for me in this game highlight, which is kind of nice. So the first thing that we have to do in our um, for loop is to move or take that pen and move it up. So we don't want um, it to start drawing where it left off, which is right here. So we need to pick it up to move it up here. And then we're going to tell the smiley to go to the top. So we're going to take the smiley and hit put go to and we're going to have this indexing variable because that's going to be where it's at. And then it's going to be at 35. Oops, sorry. 35. 
And so it's gonna start here and then it's gonna move over here, right? Because that's the idea. We want two of the exact same size eyes on the same x and, uh, on the same y coordinate. So that's why our y is 35. Now you can go ahead and play with that too. Um, it's all just preference, so if you want the eyes a little bit lower, if you want them a little bit higher, it's up to you. So now we have to just set the heading as we did before. Smiley dot set, oops, set heading. And what we want is we want it to move this way. So we don't want it to go down and have two eyes here or here two eyes here. We want it to go this way. And if you look at the compass, going to the right is the same as going east. So we're going to put it at zero. So now that we have the heading taken care of, we can actually go ahead and put the pen down. So we have smiley dot down, and that means it's ready to draw on the screen. So we have our, the same thing as up here, so smiley dot begin fill, and with that, there's no um, parameters, and there's also circle, circle, and then we have 10. And that's just the size of the circle, right? And you can play with those values as well. And then we have, finally, smiley dot end fill because we don't want to just keep coloring in and in and in. So, end fill. And we can actually run it here, but we want to take that turtle off the screen. So we don't want that little arrow on the screen as well. So we're just going to use this function, smiley dot hide turtle, turtle, to take that turtle off the screen. So now when we run the code, we see our turtle starts to draw the face, it fills it in, sets the heading, draws a smile, and now it has the two eyes. And there you have it, a full smiley face drawn with turtle in Python. As always, if you need a little bit extra help, the full instructions and the full code have been posted on the SimLabs website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.